What's up, JR Garage? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the day you guys can see the title. We reveal our new supercar, hypercar, killer, 2,000 horsepower monster that we hinted at last video. So many of you guys, I saw about like five or 10 comments. You guys thought it was clickbait and we were making something up. No, like legit, the new car is right there. We're gonna show it to you in just a second, but we're yeah, pumped for this. It feels so surreal still, even yeah. though the car is here in our warehouse. Oh my goodness, we cannot wait to show it to you guys. It's right over there. It just doesn't feel right saying two, 1,000 horsepower is crazy enough, but 2,000 horsepower. The last, last time we said 2,000 horsepower was when we were doing a garage tour where <laughs> everything accumulated to 2,000 horsepower. Pretty nuts, and I'm sure you guys are wondering what is powering this car to make it 2,000 horsepower. Well, we're gonna show you in just a second. We, we, we told you it was a twin turbo setup, and a lot of you guys figured out what it was, so as we said, we would pick three commenters who guessed the car correctly. So without further ado, winner number one, winner number two, and winner number three. So thank you guys for guessing the car correctly. Uh, DM us on Instagram, send us an email to collect your JR Garage t-shirt. That's right, one of you guys caught that extra tip on Instagram to uh, just you know make sure that you were on the right track with the car and you nailed it from Instagram. Yeah, follow us on Instagram if you're not already. Speaking of following, be sure to follow our business channel. If you're not sure how two teenagers afford a warehouse full of uh, supercars, then check out JR Business. We talk about entrepreneurship, all that good stuff. And also check out our new aviation channel, JR Aviation. We are announcing the giveaway winners next video. The people who will get to fly with us on the private jet um, and uh, the GoPro, iPad. We're giving away a bunch of stuff. So go subscribe to the channel, that's all you gotta do and it's a lot of fun content over there. All right, Christian, is it time that it we is. show them our new 2005 Lamborghini Gallardo underground racing? So welcome to the family, a second Lamborghini. What are we doing? We said this last video, we shouldn't be buying more cars, but this deal, we could not pass up the opportunity to buy a slightly crashed underground racing twin turbo Gallardo. Now I say slightly crashed, as you guys know, we had a huge success with the Ferrari F430 rebuild. You guys love that series. Um, the car's been perfect for like 5,000 miles of driving. McLaren, we just finished that one up. That turned out like, oh, that, I don't think things could have gone better on that McLaren. I'm so, so happy about that one. And uh, we were so happy about it, we couldn't wait to get into another one. So, but uh, like we always talk about, we, we took our time looking for the right car. Mm -hmm. And this one was the right car, just because the damage was so isolated and missing minimal will be uh, showing you just yeah time. yeah I'll, I'll just have to well I'll be replacing a brake rotor a uh, hub carrier and a uh, a few other things when we show you. Other things. There's a few things that'll pop up, but very minimal damage, like he said. Um, but like always, guys, with uh, with these crash cars, we find most of them. I will say we find on auction. So there's a few big auction houses out there, and oftentimes, as a public individual, you cannot bid on these cars. They're for dealers only. But if you go through a broker, you can actually buy them as a public person like us. We ended up using Dash Hub, like always, guys. The past few uh, cars we've bought using the Dash Hub platform. So it'll be linked down below. Check out their inventory check out their cars they always got something crazy so big thanks to them for making it happen now let's get showing you guys around this car so Christian 2,000 horsepower we weren't kidding guys we're talking 18 about 18 1850 wheel horsepower on race gas and that is thanks to the 2R package of underground racing that is a fully built racing motor a fully built racing transmission and all the supporting mods that you'll need to, to put down that power. This is a world-class hypercar killer. Yeah, like literally, it's like hypercar speeds. Like, oh, Bugatti? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's faster than Bugatti. Because think about it, like a Bugatti Veyron, 1,000 horsepower and it weighs 
what, almost 4,000 pounds, 3,500 pounds. This weighs like 3,000 pounds with over 2,000 crank horsepower. So, um, of, of course, that's if you can put the power down. It's if you can really handle it to all of its potential, which, of course, we have never been in a you know car like this. So we, like we said last video, baby steps, because this car can get away from you quick, so we gotta be careful with it. Definitely gotta stay safe, but we're super hyped for it. Like you said, it's the baddest of the bad. You're talking underground racing 2R. So the cost for this build, you're wondering. If you're lucky enough to have them build it for you, it comes, it comes at a bargain of almost a quarter of a million dollars for the twin turbo kit alone, not the car. Twin turbo kit alone, almost a quarter of a million dollars and probably weeks if not months to build. Like this is a huge yes. car. Huge but car. what a great car to build off of. Oh. A Verde Ithaca 6. Speed. Yeah, guys, here we go, here we go. Best part, best part, a six speed gated manual. So like you said, the platform that they built this car on, you're talking a original six-speed manual, Verde Ithaca. I mean, Kieran, hi Kieran. This has been like our dream car since we were like tiny little kids. Him and I shared some dream cars, but it's always been a Verde Ithaca. Wasn't this your screensaver on your computer? Yes, this was, yes this was. Such a rare paint, I mean, it's completely filthy, but you can already see the glow. It's like a tri-coat pearl, like it's, it's hard to describe. You really gotta see it in person, but it just glows. Everyone agrees Verde Ithaca is probably the best Lamborghini color probably ever made, and they come in a huge premium. Add on the six speed, this car alone without the twin turbo setup, like no damage history, I think would be like 120, maybe. Add on the twin turbos, this car was a lot of money for the entire package. But of course, since it had some damage, we got it for way less than that. Comment down below if you guys want us to reveal how much we paid, how much we think it'll cost to fix, and how much maybe we think we can sell it for, even though I think we'll be keeping this, this one for a while. Yeah. But uh, okay, Christian, show them the damage from what you know. He's way more technical and you were back here earlier. Now, why does it have Huracan wheels? And those are our Huracan wheels, so explain. Yes, that's right, so there'll be another video of uh, what we were able to accomplish just in a, in a short period of time of getting a new hub carrier on there. Um, actually, there's no brake rotor on there right now because it had special uh, two-piece um, underground racings. But uh, we got this guy on here just so we can roll around and get onto the truck and come with us on the move. But um, uh, the, the control arm will need to be replaced and the, the hub carrier, but all that stuff is kind of standard uh, Gallardo parts. Even, I mean, they're shared between an R8, to be honest. Sweet, let's show you actually, because we have the wheels over here. Here is the wheel that took the brunt of the impact. The previous owner actually hit a curb, um, slightly obviously lost control, obviously, Dunzo. We have to get new HRE wheels. The right two ones are perfect, but the left two took a little bit of a hit. Um, speaking of uh, other parts that are off the car, the bumpers, you're wondering why those are off. Those are simply off because, so this car was actually with the insurance company in the process of being fixed. Like they were disassembling everything. They were yep. ordering new parts. This car was never going to be put up for auction and we would have never had the chance to own it if they didn't say, I guess they just like gave up. They just said, forget it. Yeah. We're done, sell the car, yeah. and we ended up buying it. It's just some of the parts alone, like some of the parts coming from Italy, they take so long, yeah. and maybe some aren't sourceable. Yeah, that's the thing, is that insurance needs to you know, make you whole again and put brand new parts on the car. The owner's gonna go crazy if you try to put used parts. But for us, um, an owner, we're happy to put on used parts, a hub carrier that came off another Gallardo with maybe even less mileage. Yeah, so, as long as they're quality parts and not, uh, yeah. as long as their you know, integrity isn't compromised, yeah. you're fine to put it on, so. But to buy some parts from the dealership, like a whole new bumper getting shipped in a giant crate like our, like our Ferrari bumper from Italy would have been you know, astronomical in price and time, and that is what you know, allows us to be able to buy these cars, buy the parts used, or fix them and, and re repaint the bumper, whatever, that kind of stuff. So yeah, so the rear bumper actually wasn't even touched. Like literally they just took it off to start disassembling stuff. So that's perfect, that'll be going back on. And then the front bumper did end up getting one stupid little crack in it, but I think it's too far gone to repair. And it was the, it was the stock uh, pre-LP bumper, so we may go LP560 conversion. Comment down below if that would be a good idea. Um, other things with this car, so you guys will see back here, you think like, oh, it's a nitrous bottle. No, that's actually the fire suppression system that UGR puts in these cars just in case something happens. Um, other features, these incredible carbon fiber race seats by Technocraft. Um, these things weigh, Christian, believe it or not, 6.5 pounds. Oh my gosh. 
6.5 pounds and stock seats weigh about I think 40 or 45 I was looking up oh, that's boy. an insane weight savings mm. this car I, I really want to put it on scale really see how much it weighs but uh, anyway, these things, uh, I actually like them because you sit much lower and us being very, very tall, we surprisingly actually have some headroom remaining. So very happy about them. They are stiff, like they are like just rocks, like you have no padding, but oh well, pluses and minuses. <laughs> Again, comment down below if you are super familiar with these builds, you know, drop some knowledge down below, we'd love to hear it. But we think we familiarized ourselves uh, a little bit with the build itself, like the turbos and all the specifications. I'm pretty sure they're 71 millimeter precision Ball bearing? That's right. Does that sound right? And uh, so the story goes, this car originally had even bigger turbochargers on there, even beefier front axles to to hit the kind of record numbers that, that it hit. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll show you guys those in a bit. But um, it has since been, the, the turbo's taken down just a notch so it could be more street friendly. The front axles to the, I guess, I suppose are stock, maybe there are also some billet axles but um, just not crazy heavy duty, so you can like actually turn the wheel and whatnot. Boom, and speaking of those clips, so like he said, record setting car. This car in 2015, I think had the record for the fastest six speed like street car in the world. This car is like actually world famous. There's tons of YouTube videos out there. You guys may have seen them already, um, but I'm gonna start playing some now. There's some 1320 videos, so let's insert those clips. So I hope you enjoyed those clips. Like seeing this car rip down a half mile airstrip with a proper, you know, experienced driver who really knows what it can do and push it to the limit. Wow. That's goals. We want to do it one day. Once it's all fixed, it would be really fun to take it down an airstrip because that's kind of where it belongs to do those speeds. You cannot do those speeds on the street. That's way too dangerous. So um, we'll be doing so many videos with this car. Comment down below video suggestions. We want to hear what you guys think about this car. Of course, we'll be doing all the rebuild um, process and getting it all put back together. That'll be a really, really fun series. And uh, comment down below what you think of the car. We're just so happy to have it here in the garage. Like Andre, our buddy, was a huge help, right? Yes. Oh my gosh, talk about picking it up. That was a journey and a half. So with that bent rear wheel and the flat front wheel, it was not able to be pushed up on that trailer. Like we were able to push up the F430 just ourselves, but this car, we got a little uh, ingenuity with just ratchet straps and that was good enough. By doing a few of those, yep. it made uh, it made do as opposed to a winch or something. Somehow it works. So Andre, huge help. It's finally home. And now, I mean, this is home for now, but soon we're gonna have a second warehouse in Arizona. We're gonna be moving out there, so that's that's coming soon. Stay tuned for the next few videos. But one last look at the car here. Guys, just comment down below. I think this is like, I, I don't think a car guy can not like love this car. It has everything you want. It has the power, it has the color, it has the being a Lamborghini Italian car, the six-speed manual. The options are super nice. So like clear engine bonnet glass, even though it's completely filthy once again. Um, but this car, I am just so pumped for it. So. Anyway guys, comment down below. I'll see you guys in the comment section. We'll be replying to a bunch of you as we drive cross country to Arizona. We'll have a lot of time to kill on our hands. So stay tuned for our journey on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, no, we don't, no, just Instagram, JR Garage. So guys, subscribe to the channel. You're not gonna wanna miss seeing this car back on the road where it belongs. I can't wait either. I want you guys to be a part of this. Heck yeah, like the video if you enjoyed it. Like the video if you 
Can't wait to see the content with this car. And uh, oh, by the way, like if you guys, if you're new to the channel, um, this is Lam Lamborghini number two. Now we can say we officially own Lamborghinis, plural. Yeah, well. We could be Lambros with each other. Uh, I got mine, yeah, I'll I, take this one. You I want this one. Yeah, the other one's stuck back there, but yeah, go check out the channel to see previous videos with that Lamborghini. So lots we can do. Twin turbo Lamborghini goes to college. I think that's a good video. Comment down below. All right, guys, take care. Have a nice day. See you later.